Dostoevsky wanted to be sure you didn't miss the point. The name of his main character, Raskolnikov, comes from the Russian word Raskolnik, which means divided. We'll talk more about Mr. Alienated right after this. Raskolnikov isn't a very happy guy. And how could he be when he's alienated from everyone? He considers himself a kind of Superman, the type of man who's above the law. Just think about his conversation with Porfiry Petrovich in Part 3, Chapter 5, in which they discuss Raskolnikov's philosophy of the extraordinary man. With views like that, no wonder the guy is isolated. In his mind, basically everyone is a beetle compared to him. But Raskolnikov isn't just alienated from other people. He's divided, remember? Divided within his own mind. If you watch Recap 2, you know that this divide is caused by the tug of war between pride and conscience. And this tug of war is what causes Raskolnikov to spend the entire story at odds with himself. One moment he's giving money to the poor or being kind to his sister, and the next he hates the whole human race and can't even stand to be in his own presence. Raskolnikov's journey, then, isn't just about getting over guilt or even repenting for his crime. It's about finding wholeness as he starts to love someone other than himself.